So when I see weird things at work, it inspires me to make videos, and this one's going to be about the resistance on brake magnets. You can see here I'm measuring the resistance of this circuit at the seven way, the bottom two, one's the ground and one's the blue wire, your brake wire, and I'm reading about 1.2 ohms. So you should see about one ohm. Let's say if you were seeing three ohms, then that's probably telling you you're only seeing one brake magnet. So there's probably the wires broken somewhere. I've seen them corrode and they break right out of the connectors. So you can see they were reading about three ohms with one magnet. Okay, and they're usually hooked up in parallel, so we'll start adding them. So if you had a single axle, you can see it just cut it in half. Let's see what we get if we put all four on. So it went down even more. And down even more. So Usually I see around one ohm. That's not counting for whatever resistance is in the wire that's actually in the trailer. So what happens to the resistance if we hook two of them in series? So we had three ohms with one. Let's get this twisted together good here. So when you put them in series, it doubles. Okay, so you can measure the end of your seven way and kind of get an idea if you've got a broken wire or something's going on with a magnet. I've never really seen a, a magnet can wear, but uh, usually I see the wires break off on them. So. You can kind of get an idea what's going on by measuring at the seven way. So you can see here, if I take a couple of resistors, we measure one, we're getting one K. And then if we put them in parallel, get 0.5 K, cuts it in half. Then if we put them in series, 2k just like what we were doing with the brake magnet so the brake magnets have resistance just like a resistor so I'm testing the brake circuit with one of my boxes I'm usually gonna see you know, maybe around 11 amps if I start to see something below 8 amps uh, that's when I start to get concerned and then as you can see here, this trailer here got 11 amps and the volts are a little bit low. So that's when I get down and check each one, inspect it physically to see what's going on. So that'll show you there. If you're seeing something other than one ohm, uh, then you know you need to get underneath and take a look at it. You can measure each, uh, each drum separately using amp meter and see if you're getting the same thing in all of them. So I hope you have a little bit better understanding on how to measure the resistance of a brake magnet if you ever need that information and thanks for watching.